We're going to look at installing version 9 Bernina embroidery software. When you plug in your USB stick that came in your packaging, you will find that it's possible that the system will auto start two folders or two dialog boxes. There is a dialog box on my computers that are labeled E and one is labeled F. This USB stick has been partitioned so that half of it holds the installation for version 9 and the other half is a usable USB stick that you can use. We are going to work on the version 9 portion of the USB stick so you can close the other one. We want to make sure that before we do any sort of in startup of the installation that we have turned off any firewall and any other antivirus. We're going to locate the setup.exe, which is an application type on the USB stick, and we will double click it to begin the installation. You also want to make sure that you have an active internet connection as well. Once your installation starts, you can close that other dialog box that shows you the USB stick take a few moments and the software will begin installing, working through its necessary pieces. Once we come up to this box, we're going to click next and begin the actual installation of our software. Then going to accept and agree to the two licensing terms. We're going to have a complete setup we're not going to add any additional languages unless you need additional languages besides English. We're going to leave the destination folder right where it's at. And merging is an option. If you have any user defined settings within version 8, templates, things along that lines, and you'd like to bring them into version 9, you can check merge. Now I'm going to leave it as I do not wish to merge because I know I don't have any user defined settings in version 8 that I want to bring into version 9. I will set them all up again and then we're going to click next. You have a free trial on this computer. You're going to leave this checked mark so that the software will uninstall the free trial and free up that space and then we're going to click install. It's going to work through the uninstalling of the trial and then it will start with the installation of Corel. Once Corel is installed, a internet window will open. A browser tab will open telling you to thanking you for installing Graphic Suite student edition. You can read about the highlights that have been updated in this particular version and you can then close this box. Bernina Embroidery Software is still installing in the background. Once you receive this box, we are going to restart the computer before we can do any additional installation or setup of our software. So you are going to answer finish to this by choosing yes, I want to restart. You are going to, once you click finish, your system will shut down and reboot up for you. Once it comes back up, you want to make sure that your antivirus and firewall have remained off. If they have not, go ahead and disable them again until after we get all of the software set up. And you want to make sure that you do have an active internet connection. Once you have rebooted your software, we are going to now work through setting up Corel and getting your software registered. Once you've rebooted, you will notice that this will immediately pop up that says that you have successfully installed it. You may now run the software. Before we run the software, we want to open Corel first to set up and get Corel registered so that we can make sure that we can establish a correct link between our embroidery software and Corel for the 
artwork canvas portion. So we're going to say OK. You'll also notice that on your desktop you probably have these five icons. Okay, Three of them are for Corel. One is for your embroidery software, and the other one is for your Wi-Fi connector. Your Wi-Fi connector will be coming sometime after the first of the year, and you will be notified when it arrives. In your software box, you may have received a $20 gift card for Embroidery Online to download supplies, uh, designs and supplies as a thank you for your patience. Now, these three Corel icons, for the most part, you're not really going to need on your desktop unless you want to use Corel outside of your embroidery software. But right now, what we want to do is double click on the green one that says Corel Draw SE. Once you double click that, we're going to choose English. It's going to load the application and you're going to get this box that asks you if you have an account or to set one up. Now, if you have version 8, you probably set up an account when we installed version 8. Okay, so you can go ahead. If you know that information, you can log in. If you do not remember it, your login information or if you did it or not, you can uh, tell it you forgot your password. You can set it up again. Okay. And then once you've got your password information and everything set up in there, it'll tell you that you've authenticated the account with this version. It's more along the lines that Corel knows that this version is what you own on that particular email. I'm going to click finish. Corel is going to come up and say thank you for registering your software. You can close that box that opens. Corel itself will open and you can also close Corel. Okay. At this point, if you would like, you can left click and drag a box around those Corel um, desktop icons and you can hit the delete key and delete them. Okay. Now we're ready to open our software. So we're going to double click on the Bernina embroidery software icon. So once you've logged into your embroidery software, we need to do a few things. If you've already established a software account, you will log in with your software account. If you are new to version nine, you will probably need to set up a software account. And if so, you just click new to Bernina Embroidery Software 9, sign up now, fill out that information, and then it's going to ask for your product key. Your product key is on the small business card size um, card stock piece that's in your box. It's on the back of the card. This is the most important piece that you keep out of that box is going to be this product key. You also would also be a good place on this product card, key card, to write your login information for your embroidery software account and even Corel. And personally, if you're setting them both up, I would probably make them both the same password. I'm going to type in this information. We're going to choose activate. It will come up and say that you have successfully activated your embroidery software. The next thing that will link is to install the Corel Draw link, and you click yes, install the link. Once you click that, your Bernina embroidery software will begin to open, and once it opens, it will come up to the new opening screen where you can either open up to Embroidery Canvas, open up your Embroidery Library, watch tutorials, make adjustments to your profile, open a new design, open something that you were already working on, and had you been working on other things, they would already be listed in this list here for you. You can also over here on the right, you will find 
webinar links, design links, project links, and a link to the blog as well. And then you will be ready to start using your version 9 Bernina embroidery software. We will be getting the mastery lessons recorded for this program and uploaded for you as well. And you can also find the version 9 embroidery software workbook up on our website for you to download. If you should have any questions or run into any issues with installation, you want to visit www.bernina.com backslash support. Once you get here, you can scroll here to the bottom and ask software support. Click on that and then you can click on software support, fill out the information and they will be back with you shortly to get you assistance. Have fun and we'll see you after the first of the year for the beginning of version nine embroidery mastery and classes.